What is up, Crypto Ken here. Today, we're going to be talking about Bitcoin, but it's going to be a little bit different than usual. I found an interesting pattern or an interesting behavior of Bitcoin that has been performing in the couple in the last couple years. So if you like the content, please do like, subscribe, and just turn my YouTube channel. So hit that bell button and let's get started. So right now, you guys are seeing the yearly time frame of Bitcoin. And these are basically the candlesticks that has been you know, constructed in that year. And as you can see over here, we're only able to see free candlesticks, free negative candlesticks so far in Bitcoin's history. And over here, I posted this, I posted this on Twitter saying that Bitcoin has been making a positive yearly candle after seeing a negative candlestick on the yearly time frame. So we're able to see some kind of, you know, some kind of behavior from Bitcoin right now. After we see a negative candlestick, which was subsequent up, which was subsequent to the Bitcoin bubble, which we saw in the last bull market, it was subsequent to the Bitcoin bull market. We saw a negative candlestick, which led to a you know, long bear market for over a year. And then in the subsequent year, we saw Bitcoin turning positive. It also happened in 2018. After we saw that massive bear market in 2018, the next yearly candlestick turned into green. And we saw three consecutive candlesticks after that. So the question arises, would we be seeing the same pattern like we saw in the last years? So we're forming a we're forming a negative candlestick in almost six days since it's 25th, is since it's Christmas today. So after this candlestick gets confirmed, there is a high possibility that we will be seeing free, at least one positive candlestick, given that the price has been tanking so far. And you're able to see it on the RSI as well that we, ha we are already achieving, I mean, we are already beneath the historical RSI lows. And also, if we were, were to take a major move from the all-time high, we are down currently 77%. And in the last cycle, it was 84%. In the, la in, in the last last cycle, it was 86 and 95 before that. So we are able to see some sort of behavior over here as well. We are seeing diminishing, diminishing losses. So as the market cap of Bitcoin matures, it is normal that we'll be seeing diminish, diminishing returns and diminishing losses. So, so far, we are respecting this trend. And the question is, will we be seeing less than a 84% drawdown from its all-time high in Bitcoin? So, and the question is, and you may be wondering, okay, so has Bitcoin made a bottom already or not? And in my opinion, I do believe that we have not seen a capitulation yet. As you can see over here on the charts, sorry, it's in Japanese, but yeah, just ignore that. We are able to see, we were able to see massive volume whenever we saw a bottom structuring. And so far, we have not seen these kind of, you know, volumes like we saw in the last previous cycles. We, we don't, we did not see enough volume yet. So in my opinion, I do not believe we have hit the bottom yet. And I am marking that we will be seeing a bottom within the next one to three months. Historically speaking, we have been forming a bottom in the winter time frame between November to February. So in this, you know, in this time frame, we have been seeing historical bottoms occurring in Bitcoin. So I do believe that we will be seeing in the bottom in the couple in in the in a couple months, and I am targeting between the 10k to the 14k zone, given that we are able to see significant support around these areas. So we are able to see significant support, significant support, significant support. In my opinion, I, I, I'll give a you know low probability of us hitting a 10K zone, but it is always a probability, so uh, I'll be always be ready for. So yeah, we, mu we must always be ready for all of the scenarios. So yeah, that's, why, that's the reason why I'm considering this 10K zone. So interesting fact found, we could be seeing three consecutive candles from the next year. And given that seven, we are already down 77%, and we are, we are witnessing diminishing losses, as we saw just now, if I were to measure it from the, 
from the Bitcoin's all-time high to the 10K zone, it will be 86% drawdown. So it wouldn't make much sense. But yeah, if we were to go down to 12K, it would be like an 83% loss. So pretty close, but yeah. 84%, 83%, we'll be seeing diminishing losses. So I do believe that the bottom will be around the 12K to the 14K area. But yeah, that's one thing to consider of. So that's it for today. Basically, this is the main topic of this video. And there's one more thing I want to be showing you guys, which is the PCE data. So we have got this data a couple of days ago. And you know, the consensus was the same. I mean, the actual data was the same as the forecast. So it, I mean, Bitcoin had literally had no impact to the markets. So this data had literally had no impact to the markets. And we're in holiday season, Christmas season, and New Year's is coming. So we are seeing historically very, very low volume. Bitcoin only moved $60 yesterday, literally only $60. So we are being, we are seeing these Bollinger Bands pinching once we once they pinch and as they get pincher and pincher, as they get as they get pinched and pinched, the more impact will be seen. So if they after they pinch, we saw their the Bollinger bands expanding and we saw the trend trend direction. So I do believe that we'll be seeing some sort of you know volatility after the Christmas after Christmas or New Year's. We tend to see low volatility around these years, so around these time frames. So yeah, just keep that in your mind. Even on the four hour time hourly time frame, we are seeing the Bollinger Bands pinching also on the one hourly time frame. So I do believe that we'll be going lower and we'll be seeing a major bottom in the coming months very soon. So yeah, please keep that in your mind. Okay, so I think this is it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm uploading these kind of contents daily, so make sure you subscribe to this channel. I just started Finally. my YouTube channel, and so far I'm almost uploading every day. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this hey content. And make sure you subscribe and follow me on Twitter as I am posting these kind of chart analysis every day. Every single day, guys. Every single day. And also, if you haven't subscribed to OKX, Sign up from this link so you'll get a 5% commission rebate forever. Big K, you get a 4K deposit bonus. Buy, but you get a maximum 30K deposit bonus. So make sure you sign up to these exchanges. So thank you so much for watching, guys. See you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.